Um, the Pelvic Floor Center is unique to this area in that it brings together three different disciplines to look at pelvic floor dysfunction. Um, we have colorectal surgeons, gynecologic surgeons, and urologic surgeons, which are female trained, uh, to tackle these problems. And each of us look at these problems in different ways. One in three women in their lifetime will have a pelvic floor dysfunction. Um, most commonly, I see patients with urinary incontinence and voiding dysfunction. Um, we have patients with anal incontinence and pelvic organ prolapse. We call it a social cancer because it sort of creeps into every aspect of your life slowly. The pelvis is basically like a salad bowl with no bottom. The bottom is muscles coming together, holding everything up. And as we speak right now, as we walk, as we talk, all of our weight from here up is all suspended on these muscles. And in our life, we never really think about exercising these muscles. So with time, as hormones change, as our weight changes, as you know, some of us get pregnant, have babies, um, all of these things play a factor into the integrity of the pelvic floor. Up to 80% of women that have one pelvic floor dysfunction will often have a concomitant pelvic floor dysfunction. So they'll have more than one, which is why it's so important that the, the center is multidisciplinary and we'll have someone come in for their first consultation and usually we will address the other areas of concern besides their main area of concern and make sure that's addressed. Um, we'll go through counseling. I usually start with conservative measures um, without surgery and uh, once a patient uh, has exhausted those measures and would like to go forward, well, then we discuss more invasive measures. The robot's unique in that we are able to visualize uh, different aspects of the pelvis that you really cannot visualize when you're doing an open abdominal procedure. We are able to see in 3D um, into the deep pelvis, which are the nooks and crannies of where we really need to get in. We're able to place our sutures accurately um, without manipulating the outside tissues as much. After a um, robotic sacrocopal pexy, which is a procedure that we did do for vaginal prolapse, um, a patient usually goes home within one day. If if we do the traditional open abdominal procedure, they're most likely to go home within three days. We're always considering minimally invasive approaches to everything. So uh, when one person wants to do the typical traditional approach, we uh, try to work as a team, uh, and oftentimes we operate together uh, to get a more minimally invasive approach to uh, any type of surgery. We're seeing these patients come back happy, um, they're able to live a normal life, they're able to hike the Grand Canyon, they're able to do everything that they wanted to do, go shopping, be intimate with their family members, um, go back to running, exercise. Um, it's really gratifying. I would say all pelvic floor dysfunction is not a normal part of aging, and there's something that can be done. It's best if it's done early, but we have all sorts of minimally invasive tools to take care of all different severities.